All right, so let's begin. Uh. So yesterday, we looked at how an induced current is produced. Okay, and we looked at two ways an induced current is produced. You have, uh, one is you have a wire, and you move the wire inside a magnetic field. Okay, and the induced current, or the in, actually, technically, is what you are inducing uh, is the EMF. Lah. Okay, sebenarnya apa yang kamu aruhkan adalah uh, EMF. Okay, the electromotive force yang menghasilkan the induced current. Okay, that is the actual, that is the actual three-step process. You cut the magnetic field, you induce the EMF that produces an induced current. Okay, but a lot of people like to shortcut it lah. Okay, you cut the magnetic field and produce an induced current. Okay, but it's good for us to know the actual three-step process instead of just the shortcut. Okay, so the main uh, the main way of how an in how a current is induced is by the cutting of the magnetic flux or the cutting of the magnetic field lines. Okay, by a straight wire with a magnet lock. Okay, a second way is by the relative motion. Okay, between a bar magnet. <laughs> sorry, a bar magnet. Okay, and a solenoid. Okay, a solenoid is a wire that has been coiled many, 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 many times. So, seperti setiap satu ini adalah satu wire sendiri. Okay, so when the magnetic field, when the magnet, when the permanent magnet over here, it cuts, okay, when it is cut by all these uh, wires in the solenoid, uh, it's going to induce an EMF and then it's going to induce a current. Okay, so that's the main thing that I hope that you have learned from yesterday's, yesterday's uh, video lah. okay how an induced current is produced today we are interested to know okay we're interested to know where is the direction of the induced current okay kalau let's say if it is a wire uh, that is going in when you wait apabila arrows itu terhasil bahkan kita mau tahu ba, how do you know whether the current is flowing this way or the current is flowing this way okay we want to know what are the rules that we use to determine the direction Sama juga macam solenoid. How do you know that the current is all flowing downwards like this or whether it's flowing upwards like this? Okay, is it flowing this way or is it flowing this way? Okay, so this is what we want to determine today. There's another thing that also we want to do, but I hope we have, we have enough time to do that. Lah. Okay, so let's begin. Lah. So there are generally two rules lah, okay, when, we when we talk about how to determine the direction of the induced current. The first rule has to do with this just the wire alone okay and for this uh, we use fleming's right hand rule okay so this is where it gets very difficult uh. left hand rule is used for motor okay motor cases uh, where you want to determine the force then you use left hand rule but right hand rule uh, is the same you know, it's exactly the same force magnet current but you're using the right hand rule to determine the current so it's very important uh, that you know the difference between your left hand, <laughs> your left hand and your right hand, because both are determining different things. Okay, I have many, 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 many ex students. Okay, that they always get this answer wrong because they cannot remember either they cannot remember which hand, okay, which is still normal, or the even more abnormal one uh, is orang suruh pakai tangan kiri dia pakai tangan kanan, orang suruh pakai tangan kanan dia pakai tangan kiri. Lepas tu, bila dia salah, dia sendiri yang kasih salahkan soalan. Apa bahas soalan ni bodoh? Padahal dia sendiri yang salah. Okay, so be very careful, be very clear about what you want to find. If you want to find the direction of the force, which is the first subtopic, you use the left hand. If you want to find the direction of the current, then you use the right hand. But in the case of a solenoid, na, in the case of a solenoid, where you put the bar magnet in, we use a different rule or we use a different law. Lah. Okay, and the law is called Lenz's law. And that's what we want to cover today. Okay, so let's begin uh, with the single wire. Okay, single wire inside a magnetic field. So the Fleming's right hand rule, all the three fingers indicate the same thing. Okay, the first finger over here indicates the magnetic field. Same thing, north is here, south is here. Okay. And then the thumb, okay, the thumb uh, indicates the direction of the force, okay, whether you're, whether you're cutting it downwards or whether you're cutting it upwards, okay, so this is where the direction of force goes, okay, so if the magnetic field is here, you want to know whether you're cutting the magnetic, 
feel, okay, downwards, then you point down, or is it upwards, then you point up. Okay, once you have these two together, your hand in the 90 degree position, okay, your third finger will show you the direction of the induced current. Okay, let's take a look at these two examples over here. Remember, uh, right hand. Okay, so first of all, uh, take a look at the direction of the magnetic field. Always align your hand with the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, so north is here, south is here. Okay, so it should be, sorry, uh, from my point of view, uh, it should be like this. Yeah. Okay, and since the direction of the motion of the magnet is going down, Okay, since the direction of the motion of the magnet, the magnet is going down, uh, which means uh, that this, this bahagian ini, okay, yang sedang membawa arus ini, dia akan seolah-olah dia bergerak ke atas. Okay, so you point your this one upwards. Okay. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It should be pointing downwards. Oh, no. Okay, so the direction of the motion is downwards. North to south is here. So you find that the direction of the induced current, uh, is going in okay memasuki di sini so when you follow 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 this is wrong huh? actually it should be pointing towards the right okay because as i said yesterday yeah the, the the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer shows you where the current is coming in from okay the current itu datang dari mana okay so actually the pointer should be this way Okay, let's take a look at this one as an example. Now the wire is the one that's going up. The north to south is still the same. Okay, so wire is going up. So you point your thumb outwards. Okay, then your north to south, kokasi align. Then when you put your hand in the, the 90 degree position, you find that the induced current is coming towards you. Okay, menuju ke arah kamu. So you follow, 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 follow. This is showing the correct position. Okay, this is showing the correct position. Actually, uh, you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. This is showing the correct position. Okay? So, that's how you use, you know, the, the right-hand rule. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so take a look at this. Uh. So, now, I'm giving you the current. I'm giving you the direction of the, the induced current. Okay, induced current is this one, uh, K. Uh. Okay, so the direction of the induced... Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. The galvanometer is pointing towards this way. Hmm, interesting. Okay, if the direction of the galvanometer is pointing towards this way, okay, that means your current is coming in from here to here, and then it's going out from here to here. So that means your direction of the current is this way. Okay, over here, your direction of the current is this way. So my question to you is, which is the direction of the motion of the wire? Is it going towards M? Is it going towards L? Is it going towards J? Or is it going towards K? K is, you know, like here lah, actually. Okay, use your right hand to try to figure this out. North to south. North to south is now the other way, yeah? Okay, but the direction of the current is like this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, which direction is our our wire over here okay which direction is it going is it cutting upwards or is it cutting downwards it's going towards l okay it's actually going towards the downward this uh sorry uh, this this slide they are salah sikit uh, but okay think about it now uh. north to south <laughs> sorry north to south is here okay but the induced current uh, is coming this way <laughs> Sorry. Okay, in this current is this way. North to south is here. Okay, so your thumb uh, is pointing down. So actually the answer will be the answer will be this one. It's going towards the downward position. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to take a look at this activity. Question number two, number three, number four. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes, okay, to figure out all this. Uh. Okay, so Take a look at this. Uh, underline the correct answer. Okay, to show the direction of the induced current. For this, uh, is it going this way, P to Q, or is it going this way, Q to P? Okay, if you move the wire upwards, if you move the wire downwards, if you move 
uh, for number three is this one, right? Yeah, number three is this one, huh? Okay, and number four is this one. Okay, five minutes, then uh, and then I will ask uh, one, two, three, four, five different people. <laughs> okay, five different people. This one. Determine the poles at P and Q means which side is north, which side is south. Sebelah mana yang utara, sebelah mana yang selatan. Okay, so follow the direction of the current. This is a mistake again. Nah. This one should be pointing towards the left. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, this one should be pointing towards the left. All right, five minutes. Okay, let's kick it off. Huh? Let's start with situation number one over here. Okay. The good thing is this guy has shown you <laughs> the hand position, which is so weird. Okay. Uh, Wilson, can we start with you, please? What is the answer for 2A? PQ or QP? PQ. Okay. It will be PQ. Lah. Okay. North to south is... Yeah, this is a bit difficult. Lah. North to south is here. Okay. The direction is this one. So you find that the PQ uh, is going from P towards Q. memasuki dalam. Okay. It's going this way. Okay. You kind of have to like, oh, your hand a bit lah. Okay, Wilson, B, 2B. QP. Okay, it will be QP. And this makes sense huh? because if your setup is the same, the only thing that you're doing different now is you're moving one upwards and you're moving one downwards. Okay, then the direction of the current now will also change lah, just because you change the motion. Okay, so if you know that this is PQ, uh, you definitely know that the next one must be the opposite. It cannot be the same direction because you have a different motion already. Okay, number three. Uh, I suppose Wilson is the last again. Lakan. Okay, Adam, 3A please. QP. All right, QP uh, will be this 3A. North to south is over here. You're moving the wire upwards. So this is Q and this is P coming towards you. Okay. Uh, Eliska, B? PQ. Okay. It will be PQ. This one is easy. Lah. All right. Question number four. Determine the poles at P and Q. P is south. Q is north. Okay. P is south. Q is north. Okay. So the good thing, uh, the good thing about learning the left hand is that it prepares you for the right hand. Because <laughs> when you know how to pushing, pushing your tangan for the left hand, uh, okay, then when it comes to the right hand, you'll be like, ah, senang saja, because, you know, sekadar memusing saja lah. Okay, so we use the right hand rule, uh, sorry, we use Fleming's right hand rule, okay, when it is this case. If it is a single wire, okay, in a magnetic field. But when we talk about a solenoid, okay, when we talk about moving a magnet into the solenoid or we move the solenoid into the magnet, okay, we use a different law, okay, and the law is called Lenz's law. Now, Lenz's law is a very, it's a very, upper, it's a very weird law, la, la, very difficult to kaitkan na, with what is happening. Na. But this is what it says. The induced current na, always flows in a direction that opposes the change of magnetic flux that causes it. <laughs> it's a very, very, like, what? What is this law? Okay. Think slowly, uh, the key word, uh, okay, the key word is, where is the direction of the induced current? Okay, the induced current will always flow uh, dalam arah yang akan menentang the change of magnetic flux. Okay, the current will always flow uh, so that it will, it will menentang uh, the change of magnetic flux. Okay, Lenz's law uh, is what we call the teenager's law. Uh. <laughs> the teenager's law. Okay, the teenager's law uh, is whatever my parents say, uh, I will always oppose it. Wow. Okay, okay uh, not just teenagers, uh, the rebel's law. Uh. Okay, whatever anybody tells me to do, uh, I will say no, I don't want. Whatever somebody tells me to do something, I say I don't want. When somebody tells me not to do something, uh, that's the thing that I will do. Okay, it's the rebel's law. And Lenz's law works around that same principle. There is a magnetic field that is coming in. So the solenoid now will make sure that the magnetic field don't come in. Or if the magnetic field is going out, okay, let's say the magnetic field is going out, the solenoid now, what it will do is it will menghalang itu magnet daripada keluar. Okay, so it will flow in such a direction so that it will be able to menghalang. Okay, apa yang magnet itu mau buat. Okay, 
But in order to understand this, let's recap this again. Now, in this one, we learned this now. Sorry, you learned this when you were in Form 3. Lah. Okay, if current is flowing over here, okay, if, uh, sorry, in this slide, nah, okay, we find that when current flows in the solenoid, nah, the solenoid will become a temporary magnet. Okay, and of course, current flows from a positive to negative terminal. So follow the current carefully. Yeah? Okay, I'm drawing all the arrows for you. Lah. Okay, and this way. Okay, so we find uh, that, okay, we find uh, that if we use the right-hand grip rule, okay, we use the right-hand grip rule, we use the right-hand grip rule to determine the polarity of the magnet on the solenoid. Now, the most important thing uh, about using the right-hand grip rule is the fingers mesti menghadap kamu. Okay, don't do the fingers like this. What is this, Tiana? The fingers, okay, seperti yang, seperti this bahagian, uh, okay, seperti this bahagian, okay, mesti menghadap kamu. Okay, then it works. Okay, so you find uh, that because of that, okay, because your thumb is pointing towards the right, sebelah sini. Okay, so this side is north and the other side will be south. Okay, take some time to think about this. Huh? Take some time to think about this. The current flow will tell you which direction is the north. Okay, arah mana adalah arah utara. So if the fingers are pointing downwards like this, towards you, huh, guys, okay, so this side is north. Okay, which is here lah. Okay, maka here is south. So if let's say the if let's say the solenoid and the current flows in this way lah, all up 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 like this. Okay, okay, up 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 means it will be like this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, point your fingers like this lah. Semua menghala ke arah atas. Okay, so this side, the left side will be north. Sini will be south. Yang paling penting, kamu punya jari jemari ini, okay, your fingernails ah, must be facing you. If it is downwards, it's facing you like this. If it is upwards, it's facing you juga. Okay, kamu punya kuku, your nails must be facing you. Jangan juga kamu punya nails tu menghadap keluar. Apa ini? Okay, I don't see my nails. Okay, cannot. your nails must be facing you. Okay, take a look at this video ah. By this way is given by what we know as Lenz's law. Let us understand this law in details. When a magnet moves with its magnetic field near a coil, towards or away from it, this produces an induced current in a certain direction. According to what we had before in the electric motor, every current makes its own magnetic field. So the produced current in turns will create its magnetic field around the coil. It's clear now that we have two magnetic fields. The magnetic field of the magnet that causes the current and the magnetic field around the coil that is caused by the current. Lenz Law tells us that the magnetic field caused by the induced current will oppose the effect of the magnetic field of the magnet that causes the current. So according to the previous explanation, we can say that Lenz Law states that any induced current caused by a changing magnetic field will make its own magnetic field that opposes the effect of the magnetic field that created it. We oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's the end. Okay, take a look at this definition. Actually, other banyak definition, the one that I gave you just now is the textbook definition. This is another definition by this interesting guy called Mr. Haruni. Okay, any induced current uh, caused by a changing magnetic field, this one, okay, will make its own magnetic field. So when the car, when the magnet is pushed inside, okay, it's going to induce a current. Current will flow first. From the current flow, it will create the magnetic field. And the magnetic field yang dihasilkan di sini akan menentang, ah, okay, will oppose the effect of the magnetic field that created it. Okay, simply to say, okay, simply to say that if you are pushing the north in, ah, sebelah sini akan jadi utara. Sebab dia mau menentang, okay, dia mau menentang north itu daripada masuk. Okay, so apa yang magnet mau buat? The, the solenoid na, akan menentang apa-apa yang kamu mau buat. Okay? 
if let's say the north is inside already, bahagian utara sudah dimasukkan ke dalam. Okay, and then lepas itu kamu mau tarik keluar. Bila kamu mau tarik keluar, when you want to pull the north side out, nah, what is the solenoid going to do? It's going to say, no, don't go. Okay, sebab, you know, saya tidak mau kamu buat apa yang kamu mau. So it will become south pole in order to attract back the north. It is always opposing the thing that you want to do. Let's say uh, we change this around. Let's say now this is south and this is north. Okay. I'm pushing the south side in. What is the solenoid going to become? This side, uh, this side. This side of the solenoid is going to become south. Because you want to push the south side in. The solenoid say, no, 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 don't come in. I don't want you to come in. So it will become the south side to, to push away the south. Of course, it's not going to berjaya. Lah. I'm not saying that it's going to succeed. Lah. But it's going to try to, you know, <laughs> it's going to try to, apa, it's going to try to oppose. Lah. Kan? If, let's say, you are now pulling the south out. Okay? South, kau sudah kasih masukkan. Tapi bila kamu mau tarik keluar, the solenoid is going to say, no, don't go. Okay? So, dia akan jadi north. Okay? So, simply to say, yeah, north. Go in, solenoid become north. Pull out, solenoid become south. Okay, if your magnet is south, when you want to push it in, solenoid is going to become uh, south. Okay, mau menentang. When you tarik dia keluar, it's going to become north. And that's basically Lenz's law. Whatever magnetic field uh, you're trying to either push in or push out, okay, the solenoid uh, is going to oppose that movement. Okay, dia akan menentang pergerakan tersebut. Kalau kamu mau masukkan utara, dia akan jadi utara. Kalau kamu mau masukkan selatan, dia akan jadi selatan. So, dia tidak mau kamu masuk. Tapi bila kamu mau tarik keluar utara, if you want to pull out the north, dia akan jadi selatan. If you want to pull out the south, dia akan jadi utara. Okay, it is just... <laughs> Sorry, uh. I like to call the solenoid like a teenager. Like, just cannot make up his own mind. lah. Okay, he don't know what he want, but he don't want you to do what he what he wants, what you want to do. Okay, wow. And all the teenagers like that. Okay, trigger, trigger. No, not be triggered lah. Okay, it's Lenz's law. Okay, there is even a law for rebellious teenagers. Bayangkan. Okay, let's take a look at this. Huh? So, the magnet is moved towards the solenoid. First of all, take a look. Huh? The magnet pushed towards the solenoid. The one that you're pushing in is the north side. So what happens when the magnet is pushed towards the solenoid? This is a very normal question. It will cut the magnetic flux. Okay, the solenoid will cut the magnetic flux and the galvanometer pointer deflects and induced current is produced. This is the general uh, description. Sorry, this is the general explanation which we already learned yesterday. Okay, when you push the magnet into the solenoid, there's going to be a cutting of the magnetic field lines. Okay. The galvanometer pointer will deflect and you will it produce an induced current. Today, we want to know which is the direction of the deflection. Okay, and this is how we determine. So, what is produced on the solenoid if current flows through it? Okay, it will become an electromagnet. Okay, now when we push the magnet towards the solenoid, we'll produce an induced current. From Lenz's law, what will the solenoid do? in order to oppose the motion that produced the current, okay? The solenoid must push out the magnet, okay? Solenoid itu akan cuba sedaya upaya untuk menolak magnet itu daripada memasuki. Dan dia hanya ada satu cara saja. Kalau utara yang mau dimasukkan, dia kena jadi utara. It has to become north. No choice. Okay, and this is how we determine the direction of the current. Okay, take your right hand grip rule, uh, right hand grip rule, okay, point your your thumb uh, towards the north side of the book, your book. Uh, okay, so point towards the north side of the book, you will find that semua ibu, semua jari jemari kamu uh, menghala ke arah bawah. Okay, dia akan menghala ke arah bawah. So, you find that, oh, okay, bawah, 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 bawah. Sini semua bawah kan, cari jemari kamu. That means the current is flowing this way and coming out this way. So, the galvanometer will point towards the left. Remember, galvanometer tells you the direction where the current is coming in from. 
Okay, dia datang dari mana? Itu galvanometer. So state the magnet's polarity at the end of P, this one. It will be the North Pole. Okay, P will become the North Pole because it wants to oppose the motion of the magnet from entering the solenoid. Dia mau menentang pergerakan magnet daripada memasuki solenoid. Okay, P becomes North Pole so as to oppose the motion of the magnet from entering the solenoid. So the direction of the current will be from A to B. And the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer will be to the left. Okay, so Lenz's law is very difficult to remember because it's macam tiada kaitan ba dengan apa yang kita faham. It's easy to understand. Okay, because as I said, it is the rebel's law lah. Okay, whatever you want to do, ah, uh, okay, the solenoid will oppose that will oppose that motion. Okay, but in terms of the definition, ah, uh, Lenz's law is one of the most difficult definitions. So, di macam tiada kaitan pun dengan apa yang kamu mau, <laughs> dengan apa yang kamu jelaskan, ah. Okay, so in short, ah, uh, let's consider this again, ah. Uh, bila kutub utara ditolak mendekati solenoid, kita tolak dia mendekati solenoid. Okay, solenoid akan menjadi elektromagnet. Dan bila dia menjadi elektromagnet Sorry, I don't know why I'm talking this in Malay but might as well lah kan. Okay, apa yang akan terjadi? Arah arus aruhan akan menghasilkan kutub utara. Okay, it will make the solenoid on this side become north. Because the solenoid said don't come in, I don't want you to come in. Okay, kita ikut, uh, sorry, supaya magnet pada solenoid menolak magnet kekal lah. This is magnet kekal, permanent magnet. Okay, dia akan menolak magnet kekal keluar. Okay, according to Lenz's law. So if this side is north, the other side will be south. Okay, use the right hand grid rule. Okay, and tell me the direction of the galvanometer. Is it to the left or to the right? Okay, ibu jari menunjuk ke arah utara. Okay, tell me left or right? Left. Okay, galvanometer will point towards the left because the direction because kamu punya ibu jari kamu punya jari jemari semua menghala ke arah atas okay the fingers that face you is the same thing as this wire dia mesti menghadap kamu okay all right i want you to try the next question on your own first um this one is the magnet is move away from the solenoid okay dia punya jawapan semua hampir sama seperti yang tadi ya so try to answer this. Uh, let me give you. <coughs> okay, sampai Roman lima. Okay, sampai Roman yang kelima. <laughs> Sorry, until Roman number five. Okay, and then uh, I will continue. Let me give you four minutes to do this. Okay. Okay, let's begin now. Uh, so number one, what happens when the magnet is pushed away from the solenoid? Brandon, can you try this? Induced current is produced. Okay, very good. Induced current is produced huh? because there's a cutting of the magnetic flux. Okay, galvanometer pointer deflects, induced current is produced. In short, can lah. Induced current is produced. Okay, what is produced on the solenoid if the current flows through it? It is the same question actually, except that sekarang kita menarik keluar ini magnet. The solenoid will become an electromagnet. Okay, so push the magnet away from the solenoid. So strange to push. It should be pulled lah, man. If we pull the magnet away from the solenoid, okay, we'll produce an induced current. From Lenz's law, what will the solenoid do? Okay, in order to oppose the motion that produced the current. Daniel? Solenoid move downwards lah. Mm. <laughs> no, the solenoid won't move downwards. Okay, solenoid cannot move right now. Solenoid just becomes something that, you know, to oppose the motion lah. Okay, so what is going to happen is the solenoid wants to pull the magnet back into it. Pull lah. Okay, pull. Not using the hand to tarik lah, but it will become something lah in order to have an attraction force. Okay, solenoid must pull the magnet back into it. Okay, state the magnet's polarity at the end of P. Uh, this is given already lah. Okay, P becomes a south pole. Okay, because it wants to oppose the motion. We want to pull away the north. Sebab north yang berdekatan dengan solenoid. So kita mau tarik the north keluar, the solenoid said no, don't go. Okay, jangan pergi. So it becomes south. Okay, 
Elijah, can you answer five for us, please? The direction of the current and the direction of deflection of galvanometer. B to A. Okay, B to A, the direction of the deflection? To the right. Okay, to the right. Okay, because as I said just now, uh, if the current is coming in this way, the deflection of the galvanometer tells you dia datang dari mana. Okay, it comes from where. Okay, all right. Six, uh, now Lenz's law is an example of principle of conservation of energy. When the magnet or solenoid is moved against the opposing force, work is done. So let's talk about the energy change involved. Okay, so when you move a magnet, okay, it is kinetic energy. Okay, and then it becomes magnetic energy that creates or induces, uh, okay, an electrical energy. Okay, so this is a, ex another example of conservation energy. Lah. In short, okay, fine. If you want to shortcut it, actually it's just kinetic energy becomes electrical energy. Okay, but the actual long form uh, is kinetic energy menghasilkan electromagnet. Okay, pergerakan itu akan menghasilkan electromagnet yang menghasilkan the induced current, electrical energy. Okay, so once again, uh, in short, if you are going to pull out the north, bahagian utara yang berdekatan dengan solenoid ini, bila kita tarik dia keluar, solenoid akan cakap jangan pergi. So dia akan cuba menarik balik. Okay, it's going to try to pull back the north side by becoming the south. Okay, when you put your hand in this way, okay, you find that all the current is flowing this one. Because the thumb, okay, ibu jari always shows the north side. So you're going to find that all the fingers, uh, all your kuku-kuku ini, semua akan menghala ke arah bawah. Okay, follow, 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 over here, and then come over here, complete the, this one, and then you find that the galvanometer will deflect to the right. Okay, it will deflect to the right. So that there is this, uh, there is this uh, summary lah, which is in your textbook. Okay, you can read this by yourself. Okay, but basically, uh, the explanation is all the same tau. Whether the magnet is pushed towards or the magnet is pulled away, okay, the induced current will produce upper, what pole? Okay, to either repel or to attract. Okay, itu saja yang penting sebenarnya ini. Whether you want to push the north side in or you want to push the south side in, uh, the explanation is always the same. Induced current menghasilkan kutub apa? Untuk apa? Okay, for example, number one, uh, induced current produces a north pole, to repel the magnet moving towards the solenoid. Okay? And so what I want you to do for your homework today, first... sorry, what I want you to do for your homework today is this, this series of questions. Okay? This one, all five of these. Okay? Uh, this one memang tiada movement. Nah. Okay? Understand why. Ah. This tiada movement di sini ini. Okay? Understand why. And then also answer these three questions. What causes the current to be produced? What is the name of the current? Name the law used to determine the direction of the current. Okay, this is your homework for today. Uh, same thing last step. I'm not done with this lesson. Huh? We haven't finished yet. I, I need to continue to a little bit more. Huh? But just to let you know that this is the homework that I want you to complete today. Okay, right. <clears throat> we need to talk about the, if, the factors that affect the magnitude of the induced current. Okay, how do you make the current uh, become bigger? Okay, so we do this, okay, by looking at this law uh, called Faraday's law. So today is pretty heavy. Uh, there are two things you need to cover. Uh. One is the right-hand grip, the right-hand uh, Fleming's rule, right-hand grip rule, Lenz's law, and now Faraday's law. Faraday's law states that the magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of the cutting of magnetic flux. Okay, uh, size, atau size lah, fine. Magnitude, ano, apa, arus aruhan lah, atau the induced EMF, okay, dia adalah berkadar terus dengan kadar pemotongan flux magnet. Okay, it is directly proportional to how, to the rate of cutting of magnetic flux. The more magnetic flux you can cut, the bigger your induced EMF will be. Basically, that's it. Okay, the bigger the rate of the cutting of in magnetic flux, the bigger the magnitude of EMF. Okay, now in the situation which involves the straight wire and the magnet, nah, okay, you will find nah, that you can produce a bigger EMF by increasing the speed of the relative motion.
okay and you increase the strength of the magnetic field these are the two main uh, the two main factors okay kalau kamu gerakkan this wire ah, slow and steady macam itu kan and you you slowly cut the magnetic field ah, then your induced emf will be very slow but if you move it down very fast with a very big force okay then your emf will be a lot bigger secondly if you use a weak magnet and if you use a strong magnet strong magnet got more magnetic field lines okay got stronger magnetic field okay so because there's a stronger magnetic field when you cut now you're going to produce a bigger emf okay so for the straight wire it's only two factors okay how fast you are moving this wire okay and how strong is your magnet okay but for the solenoid uh, the one that we talked about the lenses law okay for the solenoid is the same uh, the speed of the relative motion your magnet makan okay your magnet uh, bila kau kasi masukkan, are you putting it very slowly or are you putting it very fast okay if it is if the speed is very fast you're going to produce a bigger emf okay secondly the number of turns in your solenoid because remember uh, the solenoid the more turns you have uh, the more wires there are to cut the magnetic field okay so le, makin banyak lilitan okay makin besar dia punya uh, dia punya induced emf and of course the magnet itself lah the magnet the stronger the magnet it has more it has a bigger or stronger magnetic field okay it's going to produce an bigger emf okay so let's take a look at this huh? Observations and inferences from an experiment to investigate the factors affecting the magnitude of the induced current in the solenoid. Okay, so we find that the speed of the movement, that is the first, uh, this one, this for solenoid. Uh. So the magnet is moved slowly into the solenoid of 10 turns. Okay, I wish we can do this in the lab, but unfortunately, we are all stuck at home, so we have to do this. Okay, we find that there will be a small deflection and a small current because it's only 10 turns and you're only moving it so slowly. Okay, but if you move it at a faster speed, you will get a big deflection and a big current. Okay, so let's talk about the number of turns. 10 turns and 20 turns. Okay, can somebody tell me what is the observation and inference for 10 turns and what is the observation and inference for 20 turns? Small deflection. Okay, small deflection because... small current okay small deflection because small current okay and then the 20 turns will be big deflection big current okay that's very normal lah. okay strength of the magnetic field you will find that the difference between situation a and b is a is one magnet and b is three magnets three bar magnets okay isabella can you give me the uh, observation for the first one if you only use one magnet that is moved slowly into the solenoid, what will you get? Small deflection, small current. Okay, very good. You get small deflection and small current because you're only using one magnet as opposed to three magnets. Three magnets will give you a big deflection and big current. So Faraday's law basically explains this law. Okay, if you want to have a bigger current, uh, you need to make sure that there is more magnetic flux that kena potong. How do you make more magnetic flux kena potong? Number one, kamu tambah bilangan magnet. Kamu guna magnet yang lebih kuat. Number two, you use more turns of a solenoid. Di sini 10 turns saja ini, 10 lilitan saja. Yesterday in the video that I showed you, uh, there is one that is 25 turns and the other one is 100 turns. Of course, the 100 turns is going to produce a bigger current because there's more this one, okay? And then, of course, the third one is the speed. Lah. The faster you're able to move the magnet in and out, okay, the bigger your current will be, okay? Uh, do I want to do this? Yes, I want to do this. We have to do this. Okay, so diagram shows a straight thick copper wire that is connected to a galvanometer move vertically downwards in the magnetic field. So we are moving this downwards, okay? Tell me the direction of the car of the induced current. What law do we use? We don't use right hand grip rule. Huh? This is a straight wire. One straight wire in a magnetic field, we use right hand's Fleming's rule. Okay, Jacinta. Quickly, quickly take out your right hand and tell me which direction of the current. 
Mm, the current going out. Mm. Okay. The current going out. Where is out now? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to, uh, towards towards us. Okay, towards us. Uh, very good. So the current is going to come towards us. Okay, we use Fleming's right hand rule to determine this. Okay, now let's describe the effect on the induced current if the wire is moved vertically upwards at a low speed. Okay, tell me about the current. Now we're going to move it upwards. Tell me the direction and the size of the current, the magnitude of the current. Since originally uh, the wire is going down, right? Okay, and we determine that if the wire is going down from Fleming's right hand rule, okay, the current is going this way. So if you if you move the wire upwards this way, it's going to go in the opposite direction. Okay, it's going to go inwards. Okay, and it's going to have a smaller current because of the low speed. Okay, so if you move the wire vertically upwards, okay, at a higher speed, you're going to have the same direction, okay, it's going to be going inwards, but it's going to be a larger current. Okay, and if you hold the wire stationary, means, you know, there is no movement. What do we expect to get? We expect to get no current. Okay, so this exercise is just to remind us uh, that Whenever we talk about direction of current, we also have to talk about the size of the current. Okay, is the current small? Is the current big? And we think about, okay, kalau current yang besar bahkan, inilah faktor-faktor yang mempengaruhi arus tersebut. Okay, dia punya kelajuan pergerakan. Berapa banyak wire yang memotong uh, medan magnet, kekuatan magnet tersebut. Okay, alright, last question lah for the day, last question for the day. <laughs> Okay, diagram shows a magnet that is attached to the spring. What happens to the direction of the pointer as the spring vibrates? Okay, so this is a little bit different. Huh? This one is the magnet is being moved this way up, 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 up. <laughs> okay, so we find uh, that when we move the south pole downwards, okay, when we move the south pole downwards, this side will become what? North or south? South. Okay, it will become south because it wants to oppose. Okay, bila south ini memasuki ke dalam, dia akan jadi south. And because of that, obviously, sebelah B, dia akan jadi north. Okay? And then, likewise, the same way. Lenses law again, nah, lenses law. When the south pole is going outwards, okay, bila kita mau tarik keluar ini south, A akan jadi north. Okay, bila A jadi north, B akan jadi south. Okay, and we find that when you flip it the other way, sekarang, I'm putting, I'm putting the magnet this way. This is north, this is south. I'm pushing the north inwards. Okay, what is going to happen to this side? This side will become north. Okay, sebab dia mau menentang. North, don't come in, don't come in. Okay, and then B will become south. Okay, so uh, if you think about it lah, okay, whichever side uh, that other magnet kan, dia yang akan mempengaruhi this guy. Okay, think about this. Huh? Let's say this is a solenoid. <laughs> Sorry. And then the magnet is here. Okay, so that means huh, this side huh, yang menjadi penentu. Ini, ini, this side, dia, he has no choice. Okay, kalau ini dia jadi north, ini terpaksa jadi south. Kalau ini dia jadi south, ini terpaksa jadi north. So a bit sad lah kan, if you're on this side lah, you're like, Oh, okay, I got no choice because the magnet is not coming towards me. <laughs> okay, so it's like, oh, okay. Okay, so if the North Pole, you move the North Pole upwards, it's going to become South and the other side is going to become North. There is no situation at all, huh? let me tell you, there is no situation at all. Okay, fine. At this point, lah. Okay, there is no situation at all, lah, where the solenoid can one side becomes north, the other side also becomes north. Okay, it will be a total, it will be, <laughs> be a total. <laughs> okay, go against every law, uh, every uh, Newtonian law in this world. So cannot. If one side becomes north, the other side must become south. Cannot have both north and cannot have both south. Okay, otherwise there'll be a very big confusion happening in the magnetic side. Okay, 
that's it for today. I know that today's class is pretty heavy, yeah. Banyak la lecture style, okay, but we haven't come to the tutorial part yet. Lah. Okay, so please complete the question that uh, I told you to do. Uh, again, uh, uh, please do it by today. This one, uh, okay, this one and this one. Just use uh, the right hand grip rule to determine the direction. Make sure you point, lah. Okay, make sure you draw the direction of the current. Kalau dia mengalir macam ni, okay, draw everything complete. Okay, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Ah, macam ni. Contoh, contoh. Okay, ni bukan jawapan lah. Okay, and then remember to draw the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer. Is it deflecting to the left or is it deflecting to the right? Okay, deep. remember ah, galvanometer is dari mana arah arus itu memasuki. Okay, and then send this in into your Telegram homework channel um, by today. Okay.